you guys god gave me another dream this one is really important this is very important please stay to the end of the video um it's really important it's really powerful and it's just as significant as the last um god gave me a vision video that i did before so if you haven't watched that video yet go watch that one right after you're done with this one but make sure you guys stay to the end of this video because i want you guys to get like the full interpretation of the dream and just the full revelation that god gave me and then some advice from me about the whole situation like just just knowledge on the whole situation because it is about the mark of the beast um so yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it this time he gave me this dream a little while ago but i like to wait um a couple of days or even a week a week was a little bit too long but i like to wait a couple of days before making the video just in case god wants to give me um any meanings about the dream or just in case he wants to speak to me through that time about that dream before i speak to his people so here i am making the video let's just let's just get straight into it the dream just started off um i was in this grass field it was dark it was nighttime i was in this grass field with um like a bunch of not that much but like a group of other people and it was just like people from elementary school adults like teenagers it was just a different variety of people and um we were just walking the field and all of a sudden um signs just started happening in the sky i can't remember all the signs that happened but it was about like five to ten like crazy like not normal things happening in the sky like i can remember um it was like these lines of like red like red smoke and it just like it started off small but it started growing in the sky um and just so much was happening in the sky and then there were these boats these ships that started like coming all around us in the sky these boats just in the sky a bunch of them just coming all around us and then they like settled like they stopped they were like small like small cruise ships like yachts or something like that and it was a bunch of them so then like we were all just watching all this stuff happen and um then all of a sudden i think people came out of the yachts but i just remember them taking us somewhere and then when we got into the place um, God put in my spirit that this is our new home. So I knew this was our new home and there was already so many people there. There was already a bunch of people there as if they were living there now. And um, I, yeah, there was this lady, she was really short. She had orange hair. I'm not sure if she was like Chinese or if she was white. I feel like I saw some Chinese people in this dream. I don't know if I, like when I woke up, I thought they were Chinese because a couple of months ago, I was hearing about um, like just stuff happening with China and Chinese and communism and all that. And so I don't know if like, I just felt like they were Chinese or something or if they actually were Chinese. So we got there and once we got there, um, the, the short lady, she was like the boss. She was the boss of everything. Oh, um, before I move on, um, when I wasn't like in the beginning where I started off, I, there was this lady with us. She was a little bit older. She wasn't old, but like she was just like an adult. Like she was like a, like a, in her twenties. And she was like a leader to us. She was a leader and she was with us. So like just a teacher or an adult, just somebody, um, just somebody, I don't know, she was just significant in the story later on, but I just wanted to point out that she was with us in the beginning, back to what I was saying. So the short lady that was in boss, that was the boss, that was in control of everything, she made everyone put on name tags. Every single person that was there had to have a name tag. And it was like the name tags where you're like, you stick it on your shirt and it says like, oh, hello, my name is, and then you put your name. So it was like a sticker name tag and everyone had their name tag on. I, I had a name tag, everyone had a name tag. And a little later she came back and she was like is there anybody here who doesn't have a name tag is there anyone here whose name tag fell off or just who whoever doesn't have a name tag raise your hand do not lie because if you lie this will happen to you like you will die or they'll kill you they'll torture you something like if you lie about not having a name tag um you're gonna die basically and for some reason you guys my name tag fell off i don't know how i don't know if i took it off or if it fell off but my name tag was gone so i had to raise my hand because i don't want to die <laughs> i raised my hand and um i was like i don't have my name tag anymore i don't know what happened i think it fell off I don't know. and then she's like everyone who didn't have a name tag on to a separate place a separate room and you guys this room it was like a bunch of seats on both sides like you walk in you walk in and there's a bunch of seats on this side and like a bunch of seats on this side. Not like, like kind of like a movie theater, but not like a movie theater. And it just felt like professional in there. 
so we got in the room and the second we got in there she was the the boss she was like um you guys have a limited amount of time to get your name tags and put them on them if, if you don't get them on in this limited amount of time you're done for like you're dead like it's over so boom time starts i'm like what like you know how do i get my name tag where do i get it from and then boom i see the lady who was with me in the beginning and she um it was her and like a bunch of other people and they were tied up to ropes like as if they were they were, okay they were tied up to ropes and they were rising like the ropes were pulling them up as if they were being hung but like it was tied up to their body so they were rising and everyone who didn't have a name tag had to run up to the people who are rising and get their name tag from them like get the get the the sticker and the pen and write their name and put it on them and we had a limited amount of time to do it and if we didn't do it in that limited amount of time it was over so the people are rising so we have to hurry up and go get it before they're too high for us to grab it so i run over there i jump up i grab the pen and the paper from her i run i sit down on the floor and i write my name my name is destiny in case you guys don't know i write my name destiny i write my name destiny and as soon as i'm about to put the name tag on i drop it i drop the pen and i drop the paper and i back up oops <laughs> and i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and then god put in my spirit that this is the mark of the beast now i don't know if i like after i was done saying oh my gosh i don't know if i yelled it like this is the mark of the beast or if i felt like i was scared to say it and you guys when god gives me dreams i'm somewhat conscious like i'm conscious in the dream like he actually like takes me to the place and like actually like I'm in it's like a that's why I say it's a vision because it's like a vision I'm actually in the dream so in the dream I'm like God are you sure like are you sure this is what this dream is about I'm like asking God like God are you sure like this is the mark of the beast and he put it in my spirit this is the mark of the beast yes this is the mark of the beast and then boom it was over the vision was over the dream was over i was awake like it ended and then boom i opened my eyes and that's how i know for a fact that a dream is from god um just because of the way i feel and then the way it ends like it ends and then boom i open my eyes and last time when like the dream ended i was crying i was scared um but this time when god gave me this dream i opened my eyes and i smiled and i was like oh my goodness oh my goodness and i was happy i'm like thank you god for giving me this dream for trusting me with this word to share with your people and then I was just like, wow, I was like reflecting on the dream and I started crying because I'm just like, wow, like when when God speaks to you or when God, um, you know, gives you like something to tell people or gives you a word to share. It's just like the power and the love from it is just overwhelming anyways. So that was the dream. Um, I told my family I was so excited to my family just because like God gave me God gave me a dream to tell everyone. So um yeah and i know some people told me like from my last dream that when god gives you a dream you should not tell anybody don't tell anyone that's between you and him the meaning okay if god like god does give me dreams sometimes and it's for me so therefore i wouldn't tell anyone but stuff like this needs to be told to everyone like people need to know because you know i feel like this is prophetic like god gave me this dream and it is to happen therefore it is prophetic therefore you know it's prophecy so you you're supposed to share prophecy anyways let me just give you guys the meaning or like you know i don't know so um when i walked into that place when god put it on me that this is our new home i feel like that was meaning that our world is going to change our world is going to change significantly like it's not going to be nothing like how our life is right now i feel like um the new world order or the new world that is soon to come that's going to be our new home and it will not will not be we're, we're not going to be going back we're not going to be going back to um nothing like how our life our world used to be like our our you know you know what i mean um and um i feel like i did i feel like the people who took us were chinese and i feel like that boss lady was chinese and in china their government is communism like 
the people are not in control the, the people don't really have rights and the government has the rights and i feel like that's what our like america i feel like that's what the united states is turning into i feel like it's turning into a communism a communist country um so i feel like that's what if they were chinese i feel like that's what like that signified and then um they they gave me a limited amount of time to write out the name tag and put it on me they gave me a limited amount of time i feel like that part meant that we don't have a lot of time because they didn't give us a lot of time honestly i don't know what that part like fully means but um hopefully you guys understand um you know as you're watching this or hopefully somebody else gets like a meaning of it and can let me know in the comments um but yeah you guys the mark of the beast is coming soon and if the mark of the beast is coming soon that means jesus is coming soon that means our little earthly worldly life is coming to an end um we're not gonna die because somebody was in my comments i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna die if you are righteous if you are a saint if you are a child of god you're not gonna die when people who are saints die they in the bible it says that they just like they they go to sleep like they're just sleeping and when jesus comes back they're gonna wake back up they don't die because god gives us everlasting life eternity like life forever so we're not going to die. God's going to take us to heaven and we're going to live for eternity. Anyways, um, yeah, the Mark of the Beast is coming soon. And if that's coming soon, that means the Antichrist is coming soon. Oh, pause. If you guys do not know what the Mark of the Beast is, the Mark of the Beast um, is either the devil's number, which is 666. Um, the devil, what is it? The Mark of the Beast. I'm going to put up a scripture on the screen. I don't want to like, you know. Um, say something incorrect but um yeah some people might think like the covid vaccine is the mark of the beast or they might ask me if the covid vaccine is the mark of the beast the covid vaccine is not the mark of the beast you cannot accidentally get the mark of the beast it will be completely known you will be you'll know that you're getting the mark of the beast when the mark of the beast does come well basically you're like giving yourself to the devil you're gonna openly worship the devil when you get the mark of the beast um, you're going to make that decision. It's a decision. You have to make the decision to worship the devil in order for you to actually get the mark of the beast. So um, the COVID vaccine is not the mark of the beast. They cannot like, I don't know, you're not going to be, well, you can be deceived. Like if you're not close to God and if you don't have the spirit of discernment, if you haven't had a renewing of your mind, you can be deceived into getting the mark of the beast um, because of the antichrist. But um, yeah. I'm over here i keep like getting into new topics so like my mind is like all over the place right now and i like i don't finish speaking on one topic and i move to the next one excuse me you guys um what was i saying um yeah i i just wanted to tell you guys that you know the market beast is coming soon and we all need to like prepare ourselves for the way like the world and the earth is about to be how our lives is about to be um, I do think the rapture is coming soon. And when the rapture does begin, um, based on what I believe and based on what I like have read from the Bible, um, God's going to take his saints. Like his saints are going to go and everyone who is left behind will experience the Antichrist, the mark of the beast. They will experience life without death. Like you will seek death and find it not is what the bible says so um it's like a seven year period if you guys don't know what i'm talking about because if you don't read the bible or if you don't really um read too much about the end times then you you're probably like completely confused at what i'm saying but read the book of revelation and if you don't understand the book of revelation um do your research i don't really encourage um like google and like wikipedia and like researching online about the bible i encourage researching in the bible or you can research online but make sure that there's biblical scriptures there that there's biblical facts there so you're not like reading nonsense or not reading somebody's opinion other than um facts from the bible but yeah um in this time period guys we need to be reading the bible we need to be focused on god we need to be feeding our spirit and not feeding our flesh we need to be fasting you guys um, because not only does fasting bring you closer to God, but fasting, it, um, strengthens your spirit. And I know a lot of people who watch this might, like, might not be saints. They might be, like, completely lost from God, like, far away from God. And if that is you, I encourage you to fast because, um, I don't want to say you're going to get left behind, but if you do get left behind, fasting will strengthen your spirit and, um, 
we need our spirits to be stronger than our flesh because if our flesh is stronger than our spirit then um our flesh is going to control us and our flesh just wants to be pleased and our flesh just wants what it wants it doesn't care about our eternity it doesn't care about us or our salvation our spirit cares our spirit is from god our spirit loves god and wants god but our flesh just wants whatever you know flesh wants and in that time period where um you know like all this stuff like the mark of the beast and the antichrist and all that in that time period christians will be tormented they will be tortured they will be hurt and if your flesh like if your flesh is stronger than your spirit um your flesh will just give in and say like i give up like i'm not doing this god stuff anymore like i give up like it's too hard um they're hurting me like whatever like you know they're gonna be asking like do you know god do you love god and you know everyone says like yeah i'm gonna say yes of course i'm gonna say yes but if they're hurting you and punching you and stabbing you and your flesh is what you've been feeding then your flesh is gonna say i give up but if you strengthen your spirit if you fast if you pray if you worship if you really spend time in the spirit more than you spend time in the flesh then your spirit will keep on going just like jesus did on that cross like don't you ever wonder like wow jesus was literally on that cross getting tortured getting stabbed getting punched getting kicked he had thorn a crown of thorns on that was stabbing his head and he stayed there until he was dead people who have the holy spirit people whose spirit is strong can endure endure that pain but people who are fleshly and worldly, they're gonna give up quick, like really quick. So I encourage, fasting will get you like Jesus. Fasting will get you um, to be able to endure any worldly pain because after the suffering and all that, you know, you get eternal life in heaven where there is no pain, where there is no death. Like Jesus is gonna defeat death. So anyways, I keep on rambling. I just like feel like I like to share my knowledge that I have about God and about the Bible and about Christ. Um, and if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, read the Bible. Um, yeah, read the Bible and ask God to give you understanding because a lot of people don't understand the Bible. And that's because they read a couple of scriptures and they're like, I don't even understand it. And they stop because they think it's boring. But you like, I, I used to not understand the Bible, but God will give you understanding. So if you keep reading and you keep showing effort, God will give you the understanding. Or if you just ask God, like, God, I want to understand the Bible and just keep reading. Eventually, he will give you the understanding of the Bible. So yeah that's enough talking that's enough rambling you guys prepare yourselves for these end times guys prepare yourselves like i like prepare yourselves um and if you plan on making it like if you don't plan on being left behind you need to really strengthen yourself right now because we don't know if, God, if jesus we don't know if the rapture could begin you don't know if jesus can come back within a couple of months or within one year and to fully change it takes like over a year to go from being horrible being like super lost in the world to becoming god like it took me a year and a half to change and i'm i don't know i don't know when jesus is coming back you guys i don't know what, what time what date how many years it could be five years it could be 10 years it could be 20 years but it also could be a couple of months so we need to prepare ourselves just in case it's tomorrow or just in case it's in two weeks like you know i'm just saying this stuff so that you guys can get prepared i don't think i know i don't think that um you know jesus will come back anyways i'm over here just saying stuff y'all <laughs> excuse me um but yeah that's basically the dream that god gave me it was a really quick dream because god just wanted to get straight to the point y'all he really just wanted to get straight to the point and just um you know tell me what it is it was a quick little dream boom mark the beast tell the people okay that's what, that's what he did so yeah i really hope you guys um learned from this video i really hope that you guys understood what i said because sometimes i feel like i don't be explaining things well but i hope you guys understood it and i hope you guys get close to god i hope i will see every single one of you guys in heaven if you guys have any questions for me comment them down below because i'm not on instagram at the time but you can email me too i'll put my email in the description box below email me i will talk to you guys i will help you and i also have a christian q a video on my channel that can really help you guys get closer to god or that can really answer all your questions that you have about god or all your questions that you have about being like a christian because i am a teenager and i'm like really i have like a lot of faith and not a lot of people my age 15 years old have a lot of faith in god or really like express their love for god and like you know all that at a young age but there's a lot of young people out there who want to see god but their generation is just so 
ran by the devil and just so like lost and worldly and lustful and just sinners so when you're surrounded by that every single day going to school your friends you know it's really hard to you know get away from that and just seek god and then when you do seek god you go back to it because it's all around you but it'll work out um yeah just watch my video watch my christian q a i'll probably put it on the screen somewhere over here like in the car so that you guys can just click it and go watch it but i love you guys and i really hope that this encouraged you make sure you guys watch all my other videos i know you guys will enjoy them watch all my other videos i don't have that many but like videos about god and i know that everybody who's watching this is probably like godly but watch my videos you guys give my views up um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye